Hello everyone and welcome. I hope you guys are doing well and having a beautiful holiday season so far. So just like everyone else, I was originally very skeptical about the Dyson Airwrap and its ability to curl my hair. But I'm happy to say it has actually exceeded my expectations and that the fact that I can style my hair now with less heat and less damage it was really a game changer for my hair styling routine. I use it now every time I style my hair because it's easy, it works very well, and it leaves my hair looking like I just left the hair salon. It is definitely something you need to practice with just a little, but once you get it, you've got it. And all the different attachments that come with it are impressive, making it all in one solution for all my hair needs. So I am really excited to share my review with you all today, show you everything that came with it, and how I use it to style my hair. So before we get started on today's video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel down below, hit that thumbs up, and with all of that said, let's get to it. So first thing first, you get a large storage case so you can keep your Dyson and all your attachments nicely organized. And as far for attachments, we can start with this Kwanda Smoothing Dryer, which has two modes. So firstly, it has a dryer mode, so you can use it to roughly dry your hair, and then you can switch it into the smoothing mode. And this meant to use after you style your hair to tuck away and hide flyaways, and it does instantly smooth out your hair. And the head rotates easily to switch between the two modes. Next up, we have the 1.2 air wrap long barrel. This is the smaller barrel curling attachment and it creates more defined and tighter curls. And the new updated Dyson air wrap now allows you to switch the direction of your curls by simply turning the knob on top instead of having to switch out the barrel, which is nice. And this is the 1.6 inch barrel. Like you see, it's very similar in design to this one, but it's slightly wider, which makes it perfect for loose bouncy curls this will definitely give you like a salon blowout look think like vintage hollywood waves i like to use it when i don't want a defined curls and i really like to use it also when i am in a rush or if i want to touch up my hair from the day before because it can pick up large sections and next we have this firm smoothing brush. It has firm bristles, so it's perfect to smooth out a thick, coarse, curly, and frizz brown hair. And this is the soft smoothing brush. It has more flexible bristles for thin, fine, and color treated hair, so it's more gentle. And you can use these two for a sleek, straight styles. And next we have the round volumizing brush. I like to use this one on my bangs. It adds so much volume to the hair while drying it, especially at the roots. So it's ideal for face framing pieces, but you could also use it on your entire hair for a quick, sleek blowout look. And lastly, you get this filter cleaning brush. So whenever you see a white LED flash in here, you have to clean your filter. So unplug your Dyson and carefully slide this over the cord and onto the filter cage and use a rotating action to clean the filter cage thoroughly. Now, I just wanna show you this really quickly. All the accessories snap onto the body and lock into position automatically. And if you want to switch out attachments, all you have to do, just slide the switch down like this and release it. Very easy. And I want to mention also, this knob does stay cool to the touch the entire time you're using your Dyson, making switching out the direction of the airflow and switching out attachments easy. And as far for controls, you get three controls. This is the airflow control, so it has three fan speeds. You have low, medium, and high. And this is the temperature control, so you have cold, warm, and hot. And this is the on-off switch, so you have on and off, and if you slide it all the way up and hold it, it gives you a cold shot, which Dyson recommends you use a cold shot always to finish your style. And the swivel cord is very small but thoughtful detail that just adds to the overall experience. Alright guys, now to curl your hair, Dyson recommends you start with the hair that's about 80% dry, but I recommend you experiment with this because everyone's hair is different and some people found this works for them, but some people found they got better results with their hair 
all the way dry or like 75% dry. So you really have to play around and see what percentage of dampness that you need. For me personally, because I like to shower at night and style my hair in the morning, so I usually let my hair air dry overnight. And even if I have to spray some water in my hair the next morning, I still find this saves me a lot of time in the morning. And I really like that. So now, my hair is completely dry, my scalp and roots are dry, so I'm just going to section my hair and start spraying some products. And as far for products, all I'm using today is some heat protectant and some texture spray. This is going to add some grip and texture to my hair, and we will use some hairspray at the end once we're done. Now there's two different ways to use the barrels and my favorite is the beach wave and for this you need the one and a half inch barrel and I have it set to high speed high heat and I'm just going to work in small sections because I find my curls last longer this way because the direct heat is reaching more of each strand so even this piece I'm going to split it in half and I use it just like a curling wand. So I hold it just like this, pointing down, and I'm just going to wrap my hair around it, try to keep it as flat as possible so it can dry evenly. Now turn on your air wrap and hold it for about 15 to 20 seconds. You can touch your hair to see if it's dry. Don't worry, it's not going to burn you. And if it is, at this point, you can hit it with a cold shot like Dyson recommends. But I don't like to use the cold shot because I don't want to cool down my barrel. So I usually just turn it off and remove my curl. It's so pretty. Resist touching it and let it cool down completely like this so it can set and hold. And I'm going to show you another one. But I like to switch the direction of the airflow because I like to alternate my curls. So I'm just going to turn it that way now. Now on this I'm going to show you the other method for soft voluminous curls you need to use the large barrel this is the 1.6 inch barrel and I like to hold my hair a few inches from the bottom just pinch them like that and put the barrel behind my hair pointing the end towards the barrel and turn it on your hair should attach automatically and then just roll up with it towards your roots and just hold it there for about 15 to 20 seconds now again you can use the cold shot or just drop your curl It is very pretty, but I just like the look of the beach wave curls more. So now I'm just going to switch back to my small barrel. And I'm going to repeat the same process I did on these two pieces to the rest of my hair. And I'll show you guys a couple of more examples. Now the section is all done, I'm going to repeat the same process on this section, alternating directions and sizes for more of a messy natural look.
Now, if you have any flyaways, use the smoothing tool. You want high speed, low heat, and just place it on the top of your hair and slowly slide it down. Now, after I'm done, I like to spray a light mist of hairspray to help my curls hold. Now I'm just going to let them set for a few more minutes and then we'll shake them out. Alright guys, so it has been a few minutes and now at this point if you want to use some dry shampoo in your hair, I have this powder dry shampoo. So I just put some in my hair just really quickly because my hair is still clean and I don't really run my fingers through the hair. I just like to flip my hair upside down and just shake this dry shampoo powder. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this oil serum and just touch my ends, just like that. I don't need a lot, just like that. You can separate the curls a little bit, but just like that, it looks beautiful. I just love how shiny and silky my hair looks and feels after I use the air rub. It is just so beautiful. And these curls, they last very good throughout the day and they look even better the next day. And I find because the air rub uses air to wrap your hair around the barrels to mimic the round brush hair dryer technique and because you're not clamping your hair like you would with a traditional curling iron, your hair ultimately will have more volume like you see. And even when the curls fall out, your hair will still look like you just got a very nice blow up. Alright guys, now we're back here to wrap up this video. So if you're thinking, how is this any better than any less expensive curling iron? Well, with the Dyson and all the attachments that it comes with, you can probably get any hairstyle that you want without hitting your hair with too much heat. So with the Dyson, there's no too little heat damage in comparison to your average curling iron. So needless to say, the air wrap guarantees that you won't ever accidentally fry off your hair or burn yourself so if you are concerned about heat but you still want your hair to look good get this to me it is worth it just for that but also with all the different attachments that it comes with it can take the place of multiple tools so now I can save space and just switch attachments to get to the hairstyle that I want so if you are someone who's going to utilize all the attachments it is worth it but if you are getting in this primary for the era feature then I can see that it is not worth it but with all of that said this is a very unique tool I adore it and I love working with it it's so much fun so if you have the money for it don't let me stop you but with this we complete this video my friends I really hope that you all enjoyed it and found it helpful if you did please thumbs it up consider subscribing thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye